Grace the Tower, and this is a contemplative service in the spirit of today that is offered by St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. Thank you for joining me today. I am also joined by Kester Limner and Andy Myers, two parishioners at St. Andrew's who have contributed music for this service. I hope you are well wherever you are and I'm glad that you are tuning in. And the theme for this fourth Sunday in the Easter season is the Good Shepherd. So I will start us off with a reading from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil 
for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community, now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life.
just take a moment now to move more deeply into silence and resting in God. Living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in a soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen.
This week's reading comes from the Gospel of John. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep.
those who are sick or afraid, that they may be surrounded by your love. O oh Lord, we pray. Thank you for our loved ones who are passing from this world into your presence. Weave their spirit into ours as we move forward along the path of life. Oh Lord, we For those who shape public opinion, both in politics and in personal life, that they may be guided by the truth. Protect us from evil, hatred, and misinformation. Oh Lord, we pray. For those who have influence in their workplaces, that they may set humane policies and encourage others to be fair, generous, and welcoming. Oh Lord, we pray. country, that together we may turn towards justice. May those who have access to freedom lift up those who are carrying heavier burdens. Forgive us, Lord, for our many failings, and give us humility. O oh Lord, we pray. Thank you for our natural world and all the creatures in it. Protect our world from those who would do harm. Show us a better path towards a sustainable economy. Oh Lord, we pray. Protect our children, both now and in the future. May we show them the love of Christ. May they carry your light into the unknown. Oh Lord, we pray. Thank you for being with us in hope and in uncertainty, in love and in sorrow, in joy and in darkness, even into the end of all things. May your spirit remain with us always. Oh Lord, we pray. this time, I invite you to join me in silent prayer. I will be lighting candles as I pray, and if you have candles with you, please light those as well. Come, let us offer our hearts to the Holy One.
And now would you join me in praying the Lord's Prayer? We pray this version from the Anglican, the Book of Common Prayer, the New Zealand Anglican Church's Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And with this theme of the Good Shepherd, I would love to read an excerpt from Bruno Barnhart's um, The Good Wine, which is a reading of the Gospel of John from the center. He says, Jesus, the new Adam, is, a, is at once shepherd and word, name of God, who was sent to men and women to call them by name, by their true names in the creative word, which are godly names, generative of divine being. I have other sheep, there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Father and I are one, it says in John. The sheepfold into which Jesus leads those who hear his voice who hear him speak their new names, whether they have been Jews or Gentiles, is ultimately this one, this I am, which is his own being. Amen. Thank you for joining us and for joining me today in this service. I hope it has ministered to your heart and your soul. I will close this with a collect from the fourth Sunday of Easter, followed by our blessing for the journey. O oh God, whose son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads who, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now, the peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth, bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Your spirit in us is a wellspring of life.